the subway trying to get our way to uh, Ginza. Happy New Year's Eve from Japan. Retard. So uh, we're now heading down to Ginza area. You can tell? Not very excited about this place, huh? Everything's expensive for you? Too expensive for you? Yeah, I'm just Things are like impossibly expensive here. Okay, maybe, maybe not impossibly, but they're just expensive. So we probably we just went to um, that store over there. You see over there, there's the strawberry treats or mochi or whatever. So we bought some, and it's mochi. The strawberry and red bean in it. It's called Ata. No. Ata Mano. So good. So uh, we just left Ginza and we're lost on our way trying to get to Shibuya. First and tell to go to 109, right? Yeah. Excited? She's been waiting for this day since we began our trip because it's her favorite place in the world. Because it's full of girl stuff. I hate my life. So after a lot of time, we finally made it to Shibuya. Yeah, and there's a parade for um, New Year's Eve when we get closer. Stuff going on out there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the wind is blowing so hard that all the leaves on the trees are literally just like getting blown off. A lot of them too. Like, that tree was actually cold these like, three seconds ago. There you got it. Ow. So we're now looking for a place to eat and uh, Burger King's ramen, ramen, shoes. And uh, McDonald's! Yum! No, not really. McDonald's sucks. Except for in Asia. Asia, they're like the best place ever. Yeah. And then we're looking. We're looking for a ramen place. Lost. <laughs> so we chose this ramen place, which is actually pretty cool because uh, so you pay for your stuff through a vending machine. And then before you, and then when you have it, re when they have your seat ready, you just give them the, what you bought, like the co your coins or your seat. You sit down and eat. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, so uh, after we ate the delicious ramen, we I went to H M V, got some CDs. And now we're heading over to Shibuya 109. Uh, girl stuff. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Uh. So we're heading on over to Shibuya 109. Oh god. Here comes hell. So we just left uh, Shibuya 109 and now going to the JR line to go back to our hotel. So uh, after a long day of shopping and stuff, going back to the hotel, getting ready for a New Year's Eve party? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Fun, fun, fun. And just a little interesting thing. It was actually sort of boring. No, I thought it was pretty fun. Because you got your CDs. No, not that. Just cause. I like the food. That's it. Yeah, I was gonna say the ramen too. The ramen was good. Ramen was and good. that's it.
So um, I'm about to get ready for the party that's going down downstairs in my lobby, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get all spiffy looking, and um, gonna wear that new jacket with the dog on it. And uh, I bet you didn't know this. I'm going to a New Year's party in a hotel room, forced by my parents. Hi. <laughs> and uh, I go to a school. Which is the home of the Wildcats. High School Musical sucks. The musical. Alright, that's High School sucks the musical, huh? High School- Whatever Timothy Delegato made! Okay, we got some triple action here, YouTube. Scale of 1 to 10. 1 being what the hell, and 10 being super spiffy like Steve Urkel. How good do I look? How about now? I have to really go like to a party like this. I'm bring this. surprise all that could only last me entertainment for 15 minutes so we came back really yeah boring. not much midget dance with the tall lady okay maybe not a midget just regular Asian but uh yeah that was the manager people were so weird Chantel you've got to make this video better start moaning <laughs> I can't believe you actually did that. <laughs> but uh yeah. Happy New Year's from Asia.